To connect your tablet or smartphone to your lights, you will need to use a wireless network. And every DS1 unit is equipped with the possibility of creating its own. So just like a router, every DS1 can serve as a Wi-Fi access point or a server. But it also has the possibility of connecting to a different network, which is called being a client. By default, all power supplies are set to being access point. But in a network of multiple DS1 modules, only one will need to remain an access point, and all others need to be switched to client. So in this case, we are going to choose our light on the left to be the access point. It is important to remember that the access point power supply must be switched on at all times. So firstly, we need to set our DS1 on the right to be the client. By default, the name of the network of your unit is its serial number, which is written on the side of the power supply. Let's remember its last three digits. In this case, they are 282. Access the network list on your iPad and find the serial number ending with 282. Then connect to it. Now go to the DS application. Enter the settings menu on the top left corner. Go to the device configuration and then enter the Wi-Fi configuration. Change the mode to client. Now go to the network list in the digital Sputnik application and select the serial number of the light which has remained as access point. Go to the network list on your device. Choose the access point serial number, so the one ending with 117. On the main page of the Digital Sputnik application, there will be a group created by default that controls channel 0. If you want to create groups to control them separately, go to the Digital Sputnik address page on your power supply and place them in different channels. All light modules are set to 0 by default and channels go from 0 to 50. Just for simplicity's sake, you can leave your access point light module on the 0 channel and select channel 1 for the client light module. Now go back to the digital Sputnik application and create new groups. Now that we have split our lights into different channels, we will rename this group to AP for access point. It will contain the light that stayed on channel 0. Now you can rename your groups, but you don't have to. We will create group 2, add the fixture on channel 1 and rename it client. Then we'll create one more group, add both fixtures in there, and rename this group as both. And that's it. Go wild and enjoy your lights.